Hello guys and welcome to another new video of the mind feed. I'm your host Sudhakar Kulkarni. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to host your website for free for one year with Amazon AWS. So guys, as of now, you might heard of web hosting like Hostinger, then Hostgator, then Bluehost, and all these web hostings, which is very premium, popular. GoDaddy and all of these subs but guys have you ever thought of using uh, high quality services like AWS or anything that actually offers you free for a year so guys if you haven't heard yet no worries in this video I'm going to show you how to create your instance or virtual server on AWS uh, Amazon AWS then post your website open your WordPress connect your domain name, install SSL and everything else. So guys stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, click that bell icon, turn on notification bell and let's get started. First thing you need to do is you need to open a new tab and enter Amazon AWS. So as soon as you enter you will see here an account or here an account and just click on create a free account enter your email enter your password enter your account name so you can enter whatever website name or like account if you want to like I can enter them I see then click continue here you will see a security checkbox just enter whatever text you see okay and save and select whatever as you need enter your name and enter your mobile number country address and just click agree on this agreement and click on continue so guys once you click continue you will see this kind of page where you have to enter your billing address then you have to enter or select your address and you have to uh, select whether you have a pan card or you don't have a pan card and simply just click continue guys once you completed a two, two rupees transaction you will reach some this kind of page and here you just have to select your country again and enter the phone number then you need to like fill this, fill this uh, form out and simply just click send sms to verify as you can see i have to enter the verification code which i have just received from amazon aws so i just need to click on continue and here it will ask for basic like what kind of support plan you, you will be interested so just select basic support and free and click complete sign up now it says that for validation we are activating your account we should uh, which should take a few minutes you will receive an email when this complete so you can just click on go to aws management console and just click over here sign into console and you will be uh, redirected to some of these kind of page where yeah, you have to enter your details and uh, enter this captcha then simply you just have to enter your password that uh, you created when you was creating your account so just simply enter your password click and sign in and guys that's it but now if you have uh, observed you will see US East so if you are from India or any other region than uh, USA or even if you are within from USA watching this video then you must notice that here there are a lot of uh, regions where you can host your uh, website so there are like, you know, a lot of regions within US itself in Africa, Asia and a lot so like I am from India so from India I have one region that is uh, Asia Pacific Mumbai so I will just select this and now you can see here that uh, I am logged in for Mumbai. So what you have to search here is EC2. So just click and search here for EC2 
and now it says your survey sign up almost complete thanks for signing up with is uh, AISPL so uh, so it, it will take some time to you know like uh, get these things activated and it don't take more than 10-15 minutes if it does just wait for more half an hour and everything will be activated so guys there have been few minutes and let's see if we can now uh, access EC2 that is this thing yeah, so you can see here that now we can access EC2 and EC2 is basically a virtual server that is created on Amazon. So what you need to do is you need to click here on launch instance then you will reach somewhere here just click on AWS marketplace search for WordPress just click here and just go here down and you will see WordPress with light speed cache and this oh, powered open light speed. So as there are these a uh, lot of versions of WordPress, but I personally prefer this one as this is much lighter and faster than these two versions and uh, it is pretty easy and quick to set up. Just simply click on the select. So just click on continue. Now here the fun begins. Now here you can see this is a free tire. You can see Micro instances are eligible for AWS free usage tier for the first 12 months. Following your AWS sign up date, you get up to 750 hours of micro instance. So you can see here that this particular server we are getting, and uh, this is something we are using one even for free for almost 12 months. And uh, if you are a beginner, if you are just starting a new blog or website, this is pretty much fine, and you don't need anything else. Just click then click on next configure and then you just need to keep everything as it is you don't need to do anything uh, like any changes just then click add to storage and then whatever it is just keep it as it is go to add tag then clip uh, do it as it is don't do any changes with this part this is very essential and uh, secure like you know like don't make any changes here just click on preview and launch and just click on launch so it will ask whether you have pair so if you are a new account holder or like aws account holder you don't have a key so no worries just click on create new key just enter your uh, key name like i will enter now i feed and this i will download it so for a safety purpose if i need it in the future just click on launch instance and now you will see that the server is getting launched so just wait for a few minutes as uh, like creating a virtual server uh, like takes few minutes so wait patiently and it will be launched within few minutes so guys just wait for a few minutes you might see some this kind of error so what you need to do is you just need to like again enter ec2 and just click on this option and uh, you will see here that the instance under the running part there is going to be zero so just wait till uh, you see at least one over here it, it might take five to ten minutes and it won't take more than that so just wait for a few minutes and it will be uh, like running in few minutes of time because when i refresh it after some time uh, you can see here that instance is running and uh, you, you can see here that instance is running but the status check uh, is initializing so you need to wait for the status to be changed so just wait for a few more minutes i know it's, uh, it's taking time but guys it really worth it so just wait for last few minutes and it will it's not worth it so guys meanwhile uh, this thing is running uh, like running and initializing security checks or status check what we can do is you just need to uh, go here and search like under the network and security click on elastic ip so guys whenever a server is start if the ip is dynamic it will allot a new ip so we don't want that to be you know uh, happen and so we just need like an, a single ip that is for a permanent or like secured for us just click on this then uh, like click on associate ip just follow guys whatever i'm doing uh, then here it should be instance just go ahead just click and click on associate so that's it guys 
Now you will see the IP change. Just copy this IP. Go to, uh, go to the instances. You will see our instance has now a security check pass. So what we need to do, guys, we need to point our domain name to this particular IP address. So just go to your domain name under the DNS. So guys, once you are here on your domain name uh, service provider, so it might be a GoDaddy, it might be Google Domains, it might be a Namecheese, or it might be whatever it is. So just need to do is you just need to find this thing DNS uh, zone or DNS survey or whatever DNS. You just need to find DNS, and then you need to look for the records. So DNS records and this, and you need to click on custom record or in your case there might be an add a record so just click on create new record then scroll on the type then select and enter this IP address so if you want like th there might be a need to enter at the rate in front if needed and like most of the cases it won't be needed if you are pointing your domain name to this but uh, if you like if in some cases you might need uh, this to be done then once this is done you just need to change this and uh, like create a, another C record which is this like C name record and enter your domain name over here and just click save and okay so in this case we don't need to uh, enter anything so just need to click save and now the domain will start pointing to our IP address within few minutes so I will just change this to 600 click save yeah so you can see here that now within few minutes it should be pointed to the domain like the uh, our host host so I will just try and check if my domain has pointed yet or not so you can see here that my domain is now pointing to the hosting so once this is done what you need to do is you just need to click on here and then click on connect so here you will reach and just need to click on enter like uh, click on connect so this will start with some kind of process and you just you don't need to do anything just wait till the screen is loaded and now you just need to enter your domain name to install ssl certificate so just enter your domain name so enter please verify if the domain name is correct yes that is correct enter y click enter and wait for a few seconds now domain has been added to open let listener we wish to issue let's so we need the certificate just click enter so it, it asks for email id so i'm gonna enter my email id that is the mycfeed.net just click next no it, it's asking me to verify just click on y so now the certificate is being uh, obtained and uh, so here you can see validations your certificate and a chain have been saved so our certificate has been successfully installed so it, it says that we wish to force HTTPS so you, you need to enter Y so it means that you always want people to visit via secure server secure way so yes we need that then do you want to update service we don't want so at least enter and that's it guys so this is done so now if now I refresh this website as you will see that a WordPress installer is being shown and my website is now secured with SSL. So just click on continue, enter the title, you wake up and enter the username, just click on like enter the password. And enter your email and just click on install WordPress so guys you saw that this is it like this is pretty easy nothing else to do it's, it's pretty smooth pretty excellent and now if I gonna, if I show you the speed website you can see literally it opens within milliseconds of time so guys this is what aws is aws is extremely good with the speed and uh, there might be some slowdown as you install themes 
add images and but still guys with the free quality this is something that's really amazing so guys that's it for this video i hope you learned how to install wordpress or create your website or post your website on amazon aws so guys if you like this video do hit the like button and if you are new to our channel do hit the subscribe button thank you for watching this video see you bye bye in next video